Right, well, good morning and welcome to this week's video. We are at the Outdoor Expo 2024. I'm going to be on the Packwell Life stand all day today. You're given some information about all these absolutely brilliant Packwells that we've got here with Gina and Johnny. We're going to be spending a bit of time wandering around, seeing what other things are there. So without further ado, let's get ourselves out there, about to throw the doors open, and let's go meet a load of people and uh, introduce them to the wonderful world of pack rafting. So let's just take a quick little look at the pack rafts that we've got on the stand today. We have the MRS Ponto there, which is a really nice, lightweight, really, really portable pack raft. You've got the tie zip on the back just there as well. Really nice, nice, light pack raft. You've got the Barracuda sitting over there, so that's a two-person pack raft you've got sitting over there. And they can see by the shape of this that this really, really does paddle really, really well. You've got a really nice, big, thick skeg on the bottom, so it tracks really, really well. Up the top there, you can see the Savannah. That's the one that we've done a review on a couple of weeks ago. Um, that's the olive version that you've got up there. Then you've got the minnow sat next to it. And then you've got another surveyor up the top there, but that's a, a, a two-person surveyor. And then sitting just behind the girls over yonder there, you can see we have got the Nomad, which is the one that I was taking out in Scotland last year. And then you've got the good old faithful Micraft sitting up in the corner. Now here's something that's really, really interesting, and I think this is going to go a long way this week, this year. So you know that I do like me inflatable PFDs. Well, what we've got here is we've got another inflatable PFD, but this one actually has a CE rating. This one does. So this is made by Packer, and you can see it's got an inflatable bladder on the left, an inflatable bladder on the right, and if you take a look at the back, it's got an inflatable bladder on the back as well. And then what I do really like about this is you've got the zipped pockets on the front just here as well. So you and shove a load of gear in there you've got space inside of there that you can wedge some gear in as well and it's just a really nice looking inflatable uh, pfd it's great that it's ce rated as well and the great thing is that it's just packable and lightweight if you're looking so you're worried about your weight and uh, the space in your bag if you're new to pack rafting the first thing to mention about pack rafts is the size and the packability of the pack rafts let's just take a look at some of the lightweight pack rafts that are on the pack while i've stand today this is the surveyor i've got a video a review video of this on the channel there and you can see how tiny that packs up so this is the surveyor just behind me here and it's an absolute brilliant brilliant pack raft and then we've got the nitrogen and this is a tiny tiny pack raft you can see it weighs next to nothing really really packable absolute perfect pack raft if you want to be crossing out to an island for the night or if you're just crossing a river when you're on a hiking trip So absolutely tons and tons of interest. The Surveyor has been the main one that people have been looking at here today. You know, it's a really, really lightweight pack raft, 2.2 kgs, and it packs down to absolutely nothing. The price is absolutely fantastic on it as well. So yeah, I think that's gonna be an absolute game changer uh, this year. Uh, there is a link up the top there to a video uh, if you wanna take a look at a little bit of a review of that pack raft. Well, I left it really late actually, because I didn't realize what the time was. It's now uh, nearly closing time. So I thought it was about time that I actually had a wander around and had a look at what we've got here. So we've had loads and loads of interest today. It's been absolutely brilliant. So it's time for me to have a wander around, grab something to eat and see what's going on at the Outdoor Expo. the best time of the day to ever wander around with half an hour left before it closes because there's no crowds or anything around here at all loads and loads of stuff around here to take a look at loads of stuff like sea to summit there's a load of our roof tents and things up there as well and just loads and loads of different stalls to have a look at but i've been spent most of the day on the pack or life stall met a few people bumped into a few friends bumped into craig from east anglian bushcraft uh, which is quite weird to see him down here as well. But it's been great fun down here. I really enjoyed it. It's been great just to show people the pack rafts and get a little bit of interest and see what pack rafts can do for you. So uh, we're just going to finish up for the day. I'm going to make my way back to sunny Suffolk, uh, which is a three-hour journey. So just get help, me, help the guys from Packwell Life get packed away and uh, make my way back home. So thanks for watching. Just a short little video of uh, the uh, Outdoor Expo here at the NEC 2024. So thanks for watching, and hopefully we'll catch you next time on the next one.